The Ecolotil is our three-point mounted deep tillage tool. The two-bar frame uses four by six inch tubing to provide strength and easy mounting of optional 20-inch spring-loaded coulters. The shank spacing can be adjusted for 30 or 36-inch rows. And the parabolic shank lift and open the soil to let more air and water into the soil. The Tiger Point wings give additional lifting and turning action that increases air and water intake into the soil. The Ecolotil can be used to open the soil in the fall or spring or even in a growing crop. See the Ecolotil at your DMI dealer. West Tennessee guys went and done a little uh, Black Friday shopping we did a little Black Friday shopping right here we got us a DMI ripper the Ecolo Teal Ecolo Teal I don't know DMI was kind of one of the pioneers of the whole inline ripper low disturbance no till ripper deal but uh we went and bought one a little nervous to see how much it tears up the ground because these are the parabolic shanks they got some curve to them versus the straight no till shanks but i'm hoping i'm hoping it don't tear the ground up too much we're gonna we're gonna see they say that these parabolic shanks pull a lot easier you know because you got that leading edge kind of li lifting before the rest of your shank gets there where them straight shanks you're just pulling a big piece of metal through the ground uh 16 inches deep but our plan is to rip about 12 inches deep that's where we're wanting to run it uh, I measured right here. It looked like most of the wire had been occurring at 14 inches. Kind of where they got it set up. Hoping my tractor will pull it. Because this is a, a big heavy unit. Uh, one thing I like about this one versus some DMIs I've seen. It's got the bigger gauge wheel tires. A lot of them have like little... Uh, I've heard them called boat tires, golf cart tires, you know, these are a lot more heavier, robust tires. Got the good, got the good no-till coulters on it to slice through the residue. Of course, we got the, got the winged points on it, but, uh, even if it does tear the ground up quite a bit, I'll probably keep it. Uh, one thing I definitely wanted was spring resets for when we're ripping around fence rows. We may still occasionally have to replace the shear bolt. It's got shear bolts there. Hopefully that's going to keep us from having to uh, replace a bunch of shear bolts. Uh, and speed, speed ripping up. I'd like to find another ripper where Robert and I can run two and get these acres knocked out faster because ripping is a slow, slow, slow process. Uh, this is 12 and a half foot at uh, four mile an hour. It's, it's a slow process, but hoping to find another one. I've done sold my pasture ripper to a viewer of the channel. Hope he has good luck with it.
if you're interested in our old v ripper just uh contact me in the comments or best way to get a hold of me is dylan joyce youtube at outlook.com but i'm fixing to unstrap this thing and hopefully we're gonna plow some ground this afternoon Why didn't you guys undo this strap for me while I was undoing that other one? We could already, we could already be uh, unloading this sucker. I said a Black Friday, Black Friday shop, and Robert said. We actually bought it the Monday after Thanksgiving. Robert said it was a Cyber Monday deal. And I guess it was a Cyber Monday deal because uh, I did find it on the internet. Found it on Tractor House. Buy all my equipment off Tractor House. No, just joking. Anyway, well, it's a little chilly here in West Tennessee this morning. We got the fork left warming up. Robert's airing the tire up. More than likely, we're probably gonna have to replace this tire. Sidewall is, see right there, sidewall broke down in it. But, which really sucks, cause that son gun's got good tread on it. But we're gonna crank the old 50 here. And hopefully it's gonna crank and uh smoke the shop up and let it sit here and be warming up let off the key a little too soon I guarantee you that thing won't start. I'm gonna go on and get the battery pack and put on it. It's newer equipment. I don't know why, but it's got to roll over several times before it cranks. Have y'all ever noticed that? We're gonna go and put the charger on it and let it. So we got plenty of juice. It was showing 12.1 volts, but we're going to give her a boost anyways. We'll let all this equipment sit and warm up while we unload that ripper. Well, it says we're ready.
Well, y'all done got sideways on me. Robert's putting the chain on the bar there so that we don't lose it. My old fork lifts about to fly out, guys. I told the YouTube guys I think our old fork lifts about to fight the dust. It's getting pretty. Yeah. up on the trailer yesterday. I didn't I didn't think we was gonna get him off. He he likes to ride on the trailer. I thought we was gonna have to take him to Illinois with us. That'd have been a long ride bruiser. Oh, been a cold ride. Are you you'd been a chili dog. <laughs> I think it's all right. That should be as close as it ever gets. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Looks like we're ready to do something.
done a few adjustments on it and got it where I'm happy with it. Very pleased. Crossing the waterway. You can always tell the spots that you got a problem. volunteer weight out here that'll be good help to help to hold it in place of course we're crossing our waterways here I jump across my waterway see that old ground wave there try to pull it where it waves Get full shatter. I like that thing. It's moving a little bit more dirt than I'd like for it to, but we're getting that wave. Uh, I mean, you, you can tell she's a lifting the soil, boys. I got a feeling though, when it rains, I got a feeling it uh, is, you ain't hardly gonna be able to tell it's been out here. They got some things for it called berm tuckers. And it's little wheels that uh, go on either side of that shank and kind of press that back down. And I've seen some for sale on Facebook Marketplace. I may inquire about them and put them on there, but pulls a lot easier than i thought it would i figured it was going to set that 4650's butt on fire but old girls walking on with it work better about three quarters throttle it uh, pulls the engine down instead of making the wheel spin out if you give it full power the wheel will spin out on you because it's got more horsepower and it's got traction But she's getting the job done though. Pulling this about 14 inches deep. That's what it's taking to get the whole soil profile lifting. Any shallower than that, and you just kinda you're not getting the full the full shatter, I call it. But you can tell when that old thing's doing right, that old gray ground will be just a waving i call it waving at you be coming up in waves between them shanks i was kind of when we first started there the way they had it said i don't know what they was pulling it with but uh she was plowing old ground up pretty good and that's not what we're wanting to accomplish i'm thinking we get some rains and settle this down and put that old scratcher uh run that old scratcher do all over it in the spring i think it'll be a nice seed bed
What I'm talking about, you see it? How it's coming up in waves. I guess you could call this recreational tillage. Playing with the new toy today. But we do have this field on the books to be ripped.
we got this in Neoga, Illinois, at Hillside Equipment. They've got more tillage equipment than I've ever seen. I also got a bunch of tractors. We didn't have time to look at the tractors. When we got this ripper loaded, we went and visited a friend in Clay City, Illinois. Mr. Terry, his wife Kim, and uh, they treated us right. Mr. Terry cooked us a steak, Miss Kim cooked some fries and some macaroni and cheese. We had a big time uh, visiting. There's some friends I made through YouTube. Made a lot of good friends through YouTube. YouTube's kind of opened a lot of doors for us. So we're gonna have to go back and visit Mr. Terry one day when we got more time. We wanted to get back and get this river started. Mr. Terry needs just let me use his 8310. Haul it down here and let me use his 8310 there on this ripper. But we're coming out to the end. I turn my GPS off. Engage, I disengage the diff lock. I pick out a line. That steering wheel turns yellow. I hit it. Put the ripper down to my preset. Hit that depth lock, give her a little fuel, and that's the whole process of turning around. I skip a pass so I don't have to lock the brake. Don't, don't wear my brakes out like that. But yeah, we're gonna have to go back and visit Mr. Terry. I say it made a lot of good friends through YouTube. But the worst spots have been the inroads. Last time this farm was worked was 2015. And uh, we plowed in hydrants, but that's the last deep tillage this farm has had. And I wouldn't say that's necessarily deep tillage, it's probably six, eight inches. But we don't plow in hydrous anymore. This ground's been no till so long. I figured it's time to bust her up. See right here is pulling hard. But if you're looking for a piece of tillage equipment, check out Hillside Equipment, Neoga, Illinois. behind weight. A limb got my mirror and knocked it backwards. But that's my weight behind weight. Looking pretty good. The weight behind the worked up ground looks a lot better. But you, We got some certified weight right there on the hill and then down there in the flat where it's a darker green is actually our weight that we save. But Robert's got the ditches double drilled. Hold them. We just doing it to it. 